uh, we co we will continue with our discussion on how uh, art needs to a good art not just entertains but also uh, gives informa information instructs us and these parlor walls as referred to in the novel that guy montage's wife uh, mildred has in her uh, drawing room are actually television sets now these television sets runs programs that are very much state sponsored programs that uh, lacks information lacks good content uh, lacks uh, the um, a content that stirs one's imagination that um, th that nurtures one's thinking ability or widens one's horizon when it comes to knowledge and all this is very much um, uh, whatever i have mentioned uh, is very much um, against the a uh, fascist um, uh, way of functioning a fascist government would always want its citizen to have uh, to possess a herd mentality where they do not think because if they don't think they want dissent and when they do not dissent there is uh, every possibility a fair chance of them running a smooth totalitarian government uh, uh, this is how a uh, state has controlled um, uh, controlled society uh, in the um, uh, in the novel uh, and hence proves that it is a very dystopic uh, society uh, 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 very much against uh, the uh, ideologies of the writer uh, that is what dystopian a uh, one characteristic of dystopian literature also is so when we come back to the story uh, Guy Montage uh, or Guy Montag um, is uh, this fireman who is uh, very much honest and sincere, sincere to his duty of burning books in houses wherever there are a lot of uh, collections of uh, books. Uh, so uh, then he, uh, the, there, there is a scene uh, where uh, we uh, come to know that uh, his conscience has started to prick because he is the main protagonist of the novel there is a conflict within him that makes him stand out against this herd mentality against this madness that is happening around him where the state is controlling everything where when the state says uh, 2 plus 2 is equals to 5 everybody believes it because state has uh, uh, very very strategically made uh, programmed people people's mind so here our protagonist's conscience pricks uh, when he meets the 17 year old girl named Clarice McClellan and when they have a chat a short chat while uh, walking in the evening uh, we come to know as readers that she is an outcast she is a social she is socially alienated uh, her teachers don't like her in school because she questions she questions on why and not how and she's more interested in nature rather than uh, technology uh, so uh, uh, so the kind of progress that the state wants to propagate and promote uh, goes against uh, the beliefs of uh, Clarice and her family uh, so she is the first character that pricks his conscience later on of course when the story progresses uh, guy starts to hide books and he becomes extremely sick with this um, uh, when he sees a woman burning with her books uh, he does realize that what what a horrible person he has turned into how much his mind has been brainwashed by the state and he also thinks of a, 
about quitting his job as a fireman uh, and uh, it is revealed to the readers that he has been hiding s some books uh, in, 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 in the corner of his house which he has not even revealed to his wife. However, then uh, we are made to uh, witness an interaction between him and Captain Bitty. Of course, Captain Bitty is the leader of the uh, of uh, the uh, fireman squad, and Captain Bitty justifies book burning uh, by proclaiming that he himself was once an avid reader, but he turned against reading when he realized that reading conflicts the mind of an individual and that conflict of mind proves to be or posits hindrance in the smooth running of the state. So the controversial mind will disrupt progress of the state. That is why it is better to burn the books. Uh, but later on, uh, Captain Bitty, of course, uh, dies in the fire uh, and uh, Guy somehow, uh, Mildred, betrays him as a wife. She betrays him by telling, uh, by informing the state. Remember, I told, talked to you about how vigilant a state is in a dystopic, um, uh, dystopic uh, literature, in dystopian literature, how they act like vigilantes. Always you are being watched by the government. So uh, that is how Mildred informs uh, the government, the state about Guy uh, hiding um, books uh, and he has to run away and his only friend, uh, he has found a friend and solace too in an uh, ex-English professor named Faber. So Faber and he have connected because of their liking for books. Uh, Faber tells him that uh, he does have a collection of books and he is one of those. Faber and Guy become those uh, people, those individuals who are swimming against the tide. When the entire, uh, uh, entire, when all the individuals of the state, uh, the citizens of the state, are following loyally, blindly following the instructions given by uh, the state agencies, these two are the bad guys. They are swimming against the tide, uh, and a guy is of course being. Uh, hunted by the government and remember we talked about the mechanical hound a very um, uh, a, a, a very vivid manifestation of science fiction a dog that looks like a machine that hound has been uh, has been uh, asked to chase uh, or, or uh, trace guy wherever he is found uh, nevertheless favor runs away from the city and uh, Guy also uh, goes away uh, the, and uh, he uh, swims in the river uh, and uh, the state declares uh, that uh, Hound has been able to uh, uh, get a hold of Guy and uh, shredded him into pieces. But unfortunately, it is another um, um, innocent man. Now, why did the state do that? Uh, the state... Uh, Remember, it's a fascist state. It can control news too. So the state releases a false statement that guy has been caught. It had been a sensational news. It was all over the news channels that Guy uh, Montan, a fireman, has betrayed the state. A book burner himself had book inside. He had killed the captain of the fire uh, fireman squad. So people were watching this uh, sensational news from their parlor walls so people expect state the state is supposed to uh, show themselves or pose themselves as the saviors and the heroes at the end of the day because at the end of the day they are all populist 
um, that is the reason why a false news is given that Guy Montage has been caught and the hound has shredded him into pieces. Uh, but he um, runs away and he, uh, in the woods, you know, amidst nature, as uh, expressed by Cl um, Clarice in the beginning of the book, it is almost like a full circle. He goes back to nature and he finds some solace in nature away from this dystopic city uh, where he has been residing. And there he meets the, um, the likes of Granger, uh, an old gentleman. And this old gentleman um, introduces Guy uh, to this uh, to this entire group of uh, people uh, and later on they also say there is an entire town that actually has memorized uh, certain chapters of some valuable books for instance like the bible or great literary canons so every person has uh, by heart learned the a certain chapter of a book why did they do so because if a book has be, uh, if if the uh, the state comes to know that they possess a book they will be executed their books will be burned but if they do not have the book but it is stored in their memory in their mind it will remain there so that generations can know it through oral narration the generations can uh, can uh, witness the magic that the book has to offer uh, through uh, oral uh, tradition um, the uh, the book uh, ends with of course a nuclear war that uh, states have declared and but uh, the uh, ending of the book uh, where we uh, are introduced as readers to this fascinating group of people uh, uh, an entire town uh, which which has uh, uh, every individual of the town has at least not it uh, you know learned by heart uh, uh, a chapter of the book just makes one realize how uh, beautiful how inspirational a uh, human society can be in fact uh, uh, one of the uh, gentlemen refer uh, human beings to phoenix uh, who can burn to ashes but uh, have the ability to rise from it no matter how much we uh, we regress towards inhumanity uh, due to fascism uh, due to uh, lack of freedom of speech and expression uh, as human uh, beings as a civilization we will uh, come out of it just like the phoenix rises from the ashes uh, so this is the summary of the book uh, the most important um, aspect of the book uh, and uh, the question that might uh, be asked is uh, the novel as a dystopian literature very important uh, and uh, you you please remember the key words like uh, book burning censorship in literature a uh, dystopian uh, literature a uh, 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 a science fiction, uh, fascism, uh, state controlled. Uh, I mentioned earlier also the Orwellian literature because uh, this dystopian literature uh, falls back to uh, George Orwell's 1984, uh, a very important uh, book that uh, deals with um, deals with um, dystopian literature. So um, that is how we wrap up this discussion. Uh, any queries, please do let me know. And uh, some notes will follow shortly. Please do uh, uh, do uh, keep up with the uh, with the lectures and the notes that uh, are being provided to you. Uh, thank you so much for listening.